Hi, and welcome to this um, presentation and tutorial of the tropical additive synthesis. Tropical additive synthesis is a form of sound synthesis that I have developed together with the fellow friends, mathematician and musician Cristiano Bocci. Cristiano is not only a gifted, a great musician, but also a super gifted mathematician. As a matter of fact, he is an associate professor at the University of Siena at the Department of Mathematics. Me and Cristiano in 2018 had an idea to implement uh, a new forms uh, of mathematics uh, into sound synthesis to create new forms of sound synthesis and for this reason he proposed to use uh, tropical algebra. Tropical algebra is a form of algebra which was championed by this ma Brazilian mathematician Imre Simon which is the the godfather of the minus plus algebra. The minus plus algebra is a new form of algebra created to uh, deal with complex problems of polynomials and to simplify them. And so it's a, it's a new form of geometry and algebra. And we will go inside this uh, strange new mathematics to create sound synthesis and we will use Desmos for the graphics and Max MSP for the sound. Now you don't have to worry about the mathematics because it's very simple. It's just high school uh, trigonometry with a little twist. Uh, so don't worry and we will uh, go step by step uh, describing first off one single oscillator and then additive synthesis and then the tropicalization of additive, additive synthesis so the tropical additive synthesis that we have created so it will be very useful for students to understand better how additive synthesis works and how new forms of mathematics can be implemented into sound synthesis to create new forms of sound, new, for, new sound design new forms of sound synthesis now um, the first step is to work with a single sinusoidal oscillator and we know that we are using max the cycle object. Now we have uh, to, to, in order to listen a sound and control a sound we must control the frequency, the phase and the amplitude. Okay, so we have, for example, 440 hertz, and then we rise up the volume, and then we have our simple pure tone here. We have an oscilloscope that will describe the waveform, and the spectroscope that we will show us the harmonic content we are dealing with. Now, to do the same in, uh, in a mathematical way, we just use a simple uh, function y equals sin, sin x. Now in our max MSP we have put three controls phase, frequency and amplitude. The frequency is simply a product of x by a number for example f. So f is our frequency which is this parameter here. Now the amplitude is another number that we, multi we use to multiply for the whole function. And then we have our amplitude. Of course, if this is zero, this one is zero. And now that we have amplitude and frequency, we just need to uh, add phase, let's call it P. A phase is just a matter of time shifting the waveform. Now a uh, phase of course it's irrelevant if we don't have other harmonics. 
Now, additive synthesis, in, in fact, works with the Fourier uh, series. And we create it by adding more functions with a simple mathematical relation between them. So we create another harmonic class. We give A2 for the second harmonic. <coughs> we multiply uh, F by 2. And we have a independent phase. So this is the A2 is the amplitude of the second harmonic. If it's zero, we don't have any additive synthesis. We have only the fundamental frequency, which is this function. And if we use a little bit of multiplication here, we have our additive synthesis. The frequency is, of course, F, which is multiply here by one and here by two. Let's add another um, harmonic. This is A3 multiplied by 3 and P3. So now we have the third harmonic with, of course, its phase and its amplitude. And we add uh, one last harmonic to our synthesis, A4, and multiply by 4, P4. So this is the fourth harmonic. Now let's do it in maximum speed. It's very simple because we once we have one uh, single oscillator, we multiply it, we copy. And first thing is that this is our fundamental frequency and we multiply it by an integer number. Oops. And of course the, we create numbers, odd and even harmonics following the Fourier series. So the frequency gets multiplied by 2, by 3, by 4, and so on. Of course, you can go on and on and on as many harmonics you want. And then we connect the amplifiers. Okay, so this is the first harmonic, fundamental frequency, second harmonic, third harmonic, fourth harmonic. Now, of course, we can change the phase, but here the phase doesn't change really the sound. You will see that the phase will be important when we will deal with tropical synthesis. Now, this is the classic additive synthesis. But now we will use different uh, mathematics to do the same job and it will change the whole game. Now, tropical algebra, I was saying, it was invented to deal with uh, polynomials because it simplifies them and it's very simple in reality because uh, in tropical algebra the plus between two numbers became the minimum between two numbers so if x is 5 and this is 3 the minimum between those two is 3 so 5 tropical plus 3 equals 3 and the multiplication became the plus. So the uh, tropical five, uh, five tropical multiplication three is eight, five plus three. And we will uh, in, um, uh, transform this function with tropical algebra and you'll see that the whole game will change dramatically. So let's start back from the beginning 
y equals sin x. Now, the multiplication between two numbers became a sum. So instead of having classical amplitude of this function, which would be this a, we transform it with a plus. And now what we have in terms of sound synthesis, it's a DC offset in reality. Of course, uh, we have a frequency and the phase. Now, these two, um, this plus and this product, do not change, which means that we tropicalize only the amplifier and the sum between the different harmonics. Let's create another harmonic, but we have to create a new operator, which is the minimum, because the plus in tropical geometry is minimum between two numbers. So, uh, okay, no, a uh, two sin is uh, multiplied by two and p two. Okay, so now we have the minimum between this function and this function, and remember that the tropical amplifiers, so to speak, are instead um, DC offset. So what happens is that if this is one and the amplitude of the second is minus one, I just have the first harmonic in this position. But when this number goes below 1, it starts to interact, you see, to cut the first harmonic. And then, of course, as you, many of you will understand immediately, this kind of cuts in the waveform will create a lot of harmonics, you, just using two simple oscillators. And um, one thing is important to understand that the tropical amplifiers do not go uh, in a range from 0 to 1, but between minus 1 and plus 1. And this is very important. Also, when you have the tropical amplifier at 1, means that you will not hear it. You will hear it when it will approach minus 1 and interact with the other waveform. So if I put this to minus one and this to one, what we are seeing here is just the second harmonic. The first is not audible. But when I bring down this number, and the amplitude, so to speak, the tropical amplitude, you see that it starts to interact. Also here, the phase is very important because it changes radically the waveform. Let's do it in max MSP. Okay, we cancel this stuff. Now, this part is identical because we have a, a frequency, a fundamental frequency, and phase for both and the frequency is multiplied by an integer number following the harmonic series. But what happens is that we have to change the classical DCA with a plus, because, again, tropical geometry, the multiplication is now a plus between two numbers, a sum. And then the, the sum, because we should sum these two harmonics to create the additive synthesis, became the minimum between these two, these two functions. Now, uh, let's say we want 440 hertz. This is 1, this is minus 1. And when they 
start to approach to the same amplitude, more or less, they interact with each other and create this uh, cut in the waveform and the phase, of course. is important but as some of you have noticed we have some problems of DC offset now because take a look here we are below zero and we must correct this by creating uh, a new uh, DC offset, no, sorry, not here, but here. That will bring up the waveform to the correct uh, space between uh, plus one and minus one. So this one is a new tropical amplifier that we will put after the minimum between those two frequencies. So we take this tropical amplifier here and we put it here and we bring it back to one ha ah, now it works minus one one so when this is one you don't hear it when it approaches minus one it starts to cut the waveform and you hear the sound Courses. this is one and this is minus one we hear this oscillator and not this one vice versa if we, this is minus one and this is one we are the first oscillator so don't get fooled by the fact that we are using plus we call these amplifiers nevertheless because they are the tropical amplifiers they are tropicalized so we have tropicalized this part and this part the sum which now becomes the minimum between those two functions and uh, of course we can add more harmonics let's say third harmonic we multiply by 3 p3 and now we have the third with here it is the third harmonic which of course have a frequency which is three times the fundamental frequency and we have the fourth harmonic here of course the frequency is times four and p4 for the phase and again we have this the waveform gets very complicated very uh, full of sharp cuts that will change dra dramatically the timbre of the sounds. Let's do it in max MSP. We just need to add more tropical oscillators. By three, and by four, and the minimum between all the, well, the oscillators is created by creating the minimum in chain connecting the minimum uh, objects in chain so let's put this to one to one and let's repeat the frequency so we have now only the first to minus one the others to plus one and then we turn down this we start hearing the effect of the tropicalization. And again, I say that the phase this time is important because we can hear that the timber changes. Again, 
this should remain between minus one and plus one. Let's do it here, one and minus one. So we can mistake. Oops. This one plus one. Okay. So this is our, uh, this would be the controls of your synthesis. You could put some faders, for example, between minus one and plus one. And uh, by the way, of course, you can add a sub oscillator, subharmonic oscillator, let's say the half of the fundamental frequencies. And again, we do the minimum between all the waveforms. And the phase is very important, you see. Changes dramatically the sound. And what we can do now, because the phase is so important, is to create uh, tropical beatings, which means to change a little bit these numbers to create uh, uh, phasing and the phasing of the waveforms. And it's very simple to implement. We just add a plus. So we can add a little bit of offset to the frequency. For example, a, f a few hertz, like 0 0.5 hertz. And we can add it also here. Basically, that's it. With a few elements, we have created a very complex waveform that sounds pretty fat, actually, especially if you think to distort this waveform maybe with a processor and filter it. And it sounds pretty cool. And this is, to my knowledge, maybe I'm mistaken. But to my knowledge, this is the first time that sound synthesis use uh, different forms of mathematics to create sound. But maybe it's not correct. But possibly, po probably, this is the first time that a new form of algebra is used to create sounds. Sounds pretty cool to me, sounds very beautiful. So I hope you did enjoy this tutorial and I uh, hope it was not too much difficult but really it's just high school mathematics. It's nothing esoteric though we used a very kind of esoteric algebra to implement it but without pain I hope. Thank you very much for watching this video and let me know your thoughts in, your, in the comments. And again, this is called tropical additive synthesis or trop X M. See you. Thank you. Bye.